Rates are rising, Morgan, because the Fed was hawkish last week. And when we look at where the market thinks the terminal rate is going to be, it's increased about 30 basis points in the past week, from about 150 up to around 180. And that's almost been a parallel increase in the 10-year yield. So it's really all about the Fed. Yeah. On Witsi, uh, given the fact that we are seeing rates climb higher right now, we do see the major averages under pressure, uh, the rotation out of big tech. Where does this go from here, and how would you be positioning yourself in this market? That's for me. Thanks. On Witsi. Hi, Morgan. Thanks for having me. Um, I 100% agree with what Joe just said about the rate rise being driven by real rates. And typically, when real rates rise, um, that is a point where it's important to look at what's happening to break-evens also. And if the break-evens were falling, I would be really worried about the markets, but they're not. They're actually quite stable and, in fact, have risen a tad in the last few days. That is actually a positive signal. You know, I think market will have some indigestion as it looks at the rise in rates. We've seen rates actually more than higher earlier in the year in March and April. Rates were much higher than this. And the markets just did fine through that period. So this is a period of transition while it's digesting this higher rate environment. But growth dynamics is still very strong. And so we are likely to see some movement, but as you've seen in the entire year, every sort of three to five percent dip in the market has been very quickly bought. Yeah, Joe, it sounds like you uh, were looking to answer that question as well. So I'll, I'll put it to you, too. Um, and also, I guess I'll fold in the fact that if supply constraints are the focus for why we're starting to see revisions lower for economic growth right now, what is that signal about this quote-unquote transitory nature of inflation? The, the transitory aspect is, is uh, I don't see it as being transitory anymore. Uh, the issue is inflation will slow from an unsustainably fast rate over the past handful of months. The question is, what does the growth rate slow to? Right now, I'm going to say something slightly above 2 percent. However, uh, to the extent that supply disruptions persist, it seems like that's the case. Labor seems to really have the upper hand for the first time in many, many years, if not a couple of decades. You see that in the fact that uh, job openings are running across the availability of people across every industry. And inflation expectations, the market has come down a tad, but the surveys of consumers do show a noticeable increase that may be sustainable. It seems to me that the inflation psychology might be continuing. Having said all of that, Unless interest rates were to meaningfully go above 2 percent, which is a very aggressive Fed, uh, the equity market will recover. Peaks in stocks don't occur until the recession is uh, in the bites, you know, the recession right around the corner. That's not the case. So we'll have some bumps in the road, but equities can continue to go up over All right. Well, on Witty, on that, on that note about equities, give us your, you know, your take right now. Has it changed at all, given the interest rate picture, or are you more or less sort of where you've been? Uh, previously. Hey, David. Yeah, yes, I, I think we have not changed our stance on equities at all. I think sort of the shenanigans in D.C. right now and the worries about um, another showdown in a few few weeks or so has kept us from being max overweight, plus this uh, Fed hawkish tone that we just saw last month. That's, as I said, will take some time for the markets to digest. That keeps us from being max overweight, but we're still overweight equities. We still like um, stocks over bonds. You clearly don't want to be holding bonds in this environment. And um, equities, and also, David, we have, from a multi-sector perspective, liked uh, commodities as well. Commodities are a good place to be when everyone's worried about inflation. Those two areas are something we prefer over bonds at the moment. 